Well, Stephen said, Wendy Sue, thank you for meeting with me again. Mm -hmm. um, we already talked about the plan to get you out of debt. We already started that. Mm -hmm. We already talked about the college fund for your two beautiful children. Mm -hmm. Your retirement plan also. We set up the emergency fund. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to show you now is how to protect everything we've done. Mm -hmm. All right? But I'm also going to show you also how to create, as you talked about, generational wealth. Mm -hmm. Are you guys big on generational wealth and making sure your kids do yes. better than you? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay, well, great. But what I'm going to show you right now is what the insurance industry doesn't want you to know. Right? Our company, we're not an insurance company. As a matter of fact, I'm your insurance agent's worst enemy because I'm going to show you how to beat the house, how to beat the insurance industry. Mm -hmm. The way you have to look at insurance, okay, is you have to look at it as though you're buying money. Right? Uh, it's hard to think of something like that. When you buy a car, you buy a TV, you buy a refrigerator, you buy furniture, you buy a house, mm -hmm. you know you're going to be going to the store, paying for something, and walking out with that item. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. well, when you buy life insurance, you have to think of it the same exact way. You are buying money. You're paying the insurance company to take the ultimate risk, okay, of giving your family a bigger check than what you gave them. Mm -hmm. okay. okay? Now, the way they make their money is, is that they're betting that you're going to live a long time. And if you pay the monthly premium for a long time, then obviously they're thinking, we'll make money on that 30, 40, 50 year premium. Right. But if you're killed, God forbid, prematurely or die prematurely, they end up losing. Okay? okay? Well, I'm going to show you how to set up your children's children. Okay, financially by using this tool, okay, to help gener create generational wealth. Fair enough? Yeah. All right, so why so I use me as an example, okay? So, I have a term policy, and you can always do this best with term insurance. Okay. I believe in term insurance 100% of the time, mm -hmm. because why you can get high value for low cost. Mm -hmm. So, I have a policy on me, value is $3 million. Mm -hmm. My wife, Patricia, has a policy of $1.5 so we bought $4.5 million of money from our insurance carrier. Okay. Now, we're going to pay, because of our age, I got it when I was 40 years old, mm -hmm. I'm paying $441 per month for $4.5 million. Okay. Now, $441 a month times 12 is $5,200 a year. Now, we don't live year by year. We don't live month by month. We don't live week by week. We live what? Day by day. Right. But we're going to pay the premiums once a month, not every single day. Okay. So 441 a month for 4.5 million. Mm -hmm. Times 12 months is $1,500 a year I'm gonna pay. Mm -hmm. Well, I have a 35 year contract with the insurance company that they're not gonna raise my rates for 35 years. Now I can cancel them, mm -hmm. but they can't cancel me. Okay. All right, so it's in my favor. Mm -hmm. Well, if you take 5,200, my dad died at 72, my mother unfortunately died at 75. Mm -hmm. I bought this when I was 40. So being very honest with my wife and kids, yeah. my life specs is somewhere in there. Right. All right? Yeah. So I have a 35-year level plan. Mm -hmm. So I'm 40 years old. That means at age 75, this will come up for renewal. Okay. So watch this. So $1,500 a year for 35-year agreement, mm -hmm. I'm going to pay $182,000, mm -hmm. at $185,000 in premiums over the course of 35 years. That's right. going to go to insurance company. I'm not going to get that ever back. Okay? That's right. their, how they make their money. But when I pass away, not if, they're going to give my children $4.5 million wow. when me and mom, and, um, mom pass away. Mm -hmm. We just bought $4.5 million of money mm -hmm. for $185,000. There's no investment you can get anywhere that where they guarantee you $4.5 yeah. million and you only put in $185,000. Wow. This is why the insurance companies <laughs> don't want you to buy term insurance mm -hmm. because you'll ask for more coverage and pay less premium. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that works. Yeah. Now, my children receive a check for four point five million on the pass of mom and dad. Mm -hmm. We have it set up where my two children, Gary and my daughter Kristen, will take that lump sum mm -hmm. and they won't blow it. Okay. If they just put that four point five million into a measly five percent interest bearing account, mm -hmm. it's going to pay them two hundred twenty-five thousand dollars a year in interest income. Wow. Yeah. That's just the interest <laughs> without touching the principal. Right, right. But they're going to take the interest from that. Because at that point, they're married with kids, assuming that. They're going to take the interest from mom and dad's um, face amount policy, okay. and they're going to increase their policies to $10 million each. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, mind you, they're not having to pay the premiums because the interest from my policy is paying the premiums. Uh -huh. See how that works? Uh -huh. So Gary gets $10 million, My daughter gets $10 million mm -hmm. when they pass away, because that's one thing is for certain, right. years later. Their children are going to inherit twenty million. Wow, that's crazy. see how that that's works. Crazy. And if their kids take the twenty million and don't blow it uh -huh. and just put it in a little measly five percent interest-bearing account, uh -huh. 
the interest from that will pay them a million dollars a year in interest income, 83 grand a month. They take that money and they insure themselves. Mm -hmm. And three or four generations from my death, mm -hmm. I've created generational wealth where we could very well have children's children that are worth 100 million, 200 million, even a billionaire. That's the Kennedys, the Rockefellers, the DuPonts. Mm -hmm. oh. Now, here's the trick. Once you set this up, you don't want to ever let your policy lapse. Yes. I told my wife Patricia, okay, if we fall on financial hard times, get rid of the cars, the house, everything, mm -hmm. but don't you let this policy lapse. Because if you do, mm -hmm. the insurance company is going to keep the premiums mm -hmm. and not have to pay the claim. Wow. See how that works? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we want to do now is set you guys up to have your children's children's children inherit generational wealth. Fair enough? Yes. Okay, so this makes it makes total sense? Yeah. Because yeah. this is why the insurance companies don't like our company. Because we're not an insurance company. Wow. We're teaching people how to actually buy term, yeah. invest the rest. If yeah. you die too soon, your kids are taken care of. If you live a long term, you have a nest egg to live on. Right. That's right. See how that works? Yeah. That's Thank incredible. you so much.